Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you the decision surface for Gaussian kernel. Okay, in my previous video I have uh, initially taken the social network ads then I have shown you how you can uh, create one support vector machine classifier okay which will basically the basic idea is to predict whether a particular person will uh, buy a purchase a product or not based on their age and estimated salary okay so this this was our machine learning problem and we have first seen linear model okay if we don't specify any kernel function by default it is going to give us linear then we have changed the kernel function to polynomial and we have visualized okay Okay, in case of polynomial, we need to give the polynomial order. Okay, right. Uh, and uh, now in this video, I have just here uh, taken one function as linear and another one I am taking kernel function as RBF. Okay, instead of RBF, you can write Gaussian. Okay, no problem in that. Okay, because both will give same result. And one more thing, the rest of the code is same only. And anyway, I will be posting the same code in the description box also. You can take from there. Okay, one more thing which I uh, want to show you that in support vector machine, one of the most important part is support vector itself, right? So, how to visualize the support vectors for our data set? That also an important part. For that, what you need to write? You need to just write this simple one. That is classification model name. Okay, like here I am making my classification model with this name itself. Classification model equal to fit C S V M. So you need to write classification model dot is e support vector. Okay, so it will be giving us the uh, row index for which uh, the rows are basically support vector and colon means we are taking all the columns from my data matrix. Okay, now all the data, uh, all the uh, uh, columns are not required because there are gender, there is ID. Okay, all these things are not required. Okay, so I will be taking only H column and the estimated salary from this filtered one and I am plotting that. Okay, here just this simple three extra lines you need to write that is dot is support vector there is model name dot is support vector if you give it will be giving you the rows which are basically support vector and same three lines I have written here also see for Gaussian uh, kernel also okay so let's run the whole code so what we should get we should get two different output one is showing linear uh, kernel decision surface another one will be the Gaussian kernel uh, decision surface okay so here let's visualize that. So here is my two visualization SVM kernel with uh, linear SVM uh, classification visualization with linear kernel and this is this will be Gaussian kernel. Okay, let me just correct here. Uh, okay, all right. So control A and evaluate selection. If I just do, I'll be getting two figure window where beautifully our decision surface will be shown. Let me just give here and it here. Okay. So here you can see that this purchased and not purchased, these two different class are basically uh, segregated using simple line. Okay. And this all black circularly data sets are basically nothing but our support vectors. Okay. Whereas you can see this is our Gaussian kernel just observe the smoothness okay nowhere there is sudden change like you have seen the visualization of the Gaussian uh, kernel which I have shown uh, using MATLAB right so that Gaussian curve itself is very smooth okay we use Gaussian uh, filter for uh, removing noise in images okay that is it will not uh, perform any sudden change okay so that we can see here how smooth the boundary or surface is right so this is how you can play with the kernel function of uh, a support vector machine so majorly three we apply one is linear another one is gaussian or rbf also we, we say radial basis function and another one is polynomial if you are using polynomial you need to specify the order of the polynomial also right so this is what about a uh, different kernel you can write your own uh, kernel also okay that uh, option also is provided in MATLAB so you can explore more from methods documentation all right so same code will be posted in the description box if you want you can check there thank you for watching